there and welcome to video 12 the exam questions on simultaneous equations as always these are for the AQA unit 3 higher paper and they're to try and help students who previously sat the foundation who are trying to sit the higher this summer you should have watched video 11 the tutorial on simultaneous equations and I'm going to go through the three past paper questions that have come up on this topic just to pre-warn you, in Unit 3, simultaneous equations come up within geometry. They don't come up as solve these simultaneous equations, they come up within another context. So there are other topics in here, you may need to look at some of the other videos to fully understand the ideas. Okay, let's start straight away with this question. As always, pause the video now. Have a go, see if you can do it based on the fact that you've watched video 11 and then in 10 seconds I'll go through the actual solution. So here we go. Okay, this question tells us that two rectangles have the following dimensions. So they tell us this side is 2y, so obviously that side is 2y, that side is 3x, so that must be, and the perimeter adds up to 21. And this perimeter is 43, and that must be 6y, and that must be 5x. It tells us to work out x and y. Okay, just state the obvious here. Okay, don't uh, try and work out too much. Just start off obviously. If you add up all of these, you must get 21. So how many x's do we have? Well, we've got 3x plus 3x, which is 6x. Okay, how many y's? Well, we've got 2y plus 2y, which is 4y, and we get the answer 21. Okay, what about this one? Same thing, if I add up all these, I should get 43. So I've got 10 x's, and I've got 12 y's, and I should get the answer 43. So we've got a pair of simultaneous equations. Label them 1 and 2. Now, to solve these, I have to make the number in front of x or y the same. An easy thing to do might be if I multiplied that whole equation by 3, I would get 18x plus 12y is equal to 63. Okay, and let's rewrite our old equation here. 10x plus 12y is 43. Okay, maybe call these 3 and 4. Okay, now the number in front of the y's is the same. I can subtract these two equations and that gets rid of the y. So taking them away, I would get 8x and I would get is equal to 20. So in particular, x must be 20 divided by 8, which is 2.5. So x is 2.5. And put in x is 2.5 to one of these to try and solve it. Let's put it maybe in this one. So 10 times 2.5 is 25, plus 12y is equal to 43, okay? Subtract 25 of both sides, 12y must be equal to 43 minus 25, which is 18, and y is therefore 18 divided by 12, which you get as 1.5, so you get equal 1.5. So x is 2.5 uh, centimetres, y is 1.5 centimeters and let's just check that would have worked well um, 3 times 2.5 would be 7.5 that would be 7.5 that would be 7.5 that would be 3 3 that would indeed add up to 21 and if you check it there it adds up to 43 so we're done okay next question uh, as always pause the video have a go see if you can get uh, the answer and then we'll work through it just to warn you in advance you may need to look at um, some circle theorems videos that I will do in the near future um, in order to fully understand this topic. But nevertheless, have a go, and then in 10 seconds I'll go through. Okay, let's go through these. Uh, a, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral. That means it's a four-sided shape where the corners or the vertices of that four-sided shape are on the circumference of a circle. There's a rule for that in our circle theories. We know that opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add to 180, and those opposites do. 
So let's use that fact. We know if we add 2x plus 15 and we add it to y subtract 45, I must get 180. Okay, let's tidy up. 2x is, I'm going to write the letters now, plus y. And 15 subtract 45 is minus 30, and that is 180. And tidy up even more. Keep all the x's and y's on, on the left-hand side. Put the numbers on the other. Add 30 to both sides to get 2x plus y is 210. Okay, so we got that from here. Let's change pens and do the other one on this side. I know that x plus y as well must add up to 180 because that one and that one must. Okay, so we've got two equations. 2x plus y is 210. Okay, x plus y is 180. Okay, as always, label your equations 1 and 2. Aim of the game, make the number in front of x or y the same. Well, the number in front of y is already the same, it's 1. So I could do equation 2, subtract, uh, sorry, equation 1, subtract equation 2 straight away. That would eliminate the y's. Then I'd be left with an x here is equal to 30. And I've got x is 30, putting it back into this equation here, y must equal 150. Okay, and you check it works in both equations, and it does, and you know you're done. So x is 30, y is equal to 150. And we have done another simultaneous equation there for four marks. So um, thank you for listening to my video on simultaneous equations and the two past paper questions. Uh, I hope you found them useful. Um, do notice how the simultaneous equations come up in other topics, so make sure you can do those questions there and it should put you in a good uh, position for the Unit 3 higher when those questions might come up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.